I just, uh, you know, I just uh, want everyone to know that that uh, you know the I I read something last week and people, you know, a guy named Mr. Nightmare, he uh, he had some problem on Craigslist and he told his stories. I think that's why people should stay off of Craigslist. Because I really don't want to go there. But we'll watch the video. As experts in online education, Purdue University Global gives you all the flexibility you This was an eye-catching post made in 2014, though it was eye-catching for the wrong reason. The advertiser states that he's seeking an unpaid young houseboy that will care for him, but he had to note that he meant in a non-sexual way. He also notes that he's a 55-year-old male who lives alone with his cat, but even if that isn't slightly concerning considering he's seeking younger males to live with him, he claims to have had three houseboys before. This could leave one to wonder whatever became of them. The lighting, angle, and just about everything else regarding this man's picture mirrors something straight out of a serial killer playbook. These kinds of ads are the very likely ones to be leading to something far worse than would appear on the surface. This was the listing for a bed frame that a subscriber named Rich sent you know, to me and actually responded to. You know, that creep should be in jail. All these creeps, man. Firstly, right off the bat, the ad looks a little sketchy, starting off with the poor grammar and misspellings. Next, the poster claims that he's not storing the bed frame in his house anymore, but rather behind his buddy's storefront. This begs the question, why? Also, where is this storefront? What does it look like? If these weren't red flags enough, Lauder Hill, the town in which this ad was posted, has an extremely high rate of crime. Rich explained in his email to me that he comes from a very poor background, and even though he saw the red flags in his post, he was willing to drive over to the location he received after texting That's the number on the ad. He drove to the location at 10.30 p.m., which turned out to be a closed-down looking thrift store. He stepped out of the car with the engine still running, and he said he knew to look straight for the bushes next to the storefront, where he could easily see two men hiding. He got back in his car and drove away and reported the ad. Great job. This was an incredibly creepy Craigslist post of a man looking to start an all-female band, specifically consisting of women aged 18 to 21. You could just assume by the looks of the ad and the man himself that he strongly considered typing 16 or 17 instead of 18. The ad calls for young girls who aren't afraid of older rocker dudes telling them what to do. And apparently that wasn't the only listing this guy posted. In one picture on this separate listing, the guitars and amps can really draw your attention away from the gross carpet, messy bookshelf, and bottle collection. But in the last picture, the man for some reason thought it was a good idea to capture his bandaged up foot in frame. Nasty. This was a very transparently predatory Craigslist ad targeting young women. There's a section on Craigslist called Miss Connections. This section is home to personal advertisements, which arrive after two people meet, but are too shy or otherwise unable to exchange contact details. Like everywhere else on the website, weird things are posted in this section. Such as this ad. The ad was posted by an anonymous man who seemed to be stalking a young boy. He said in the ad, We've met on several occasions. Well, we haven't formally met, but I've seen you. You like to wear that Mets hat a lot. I love the Mets. If you like daddies, hit me up. The post actually included two photos of the boy on candid camera. One in a grocery store, and one outside in a seemingly wooded area. The boy looked to be no older than 14. The ad was taken down the same day it was posted. This ad was posted in January of 2014 in Australia during a major heat wave. Temperatures were reaching up to 114 degrees Fahrenheit in certain regions, so this ad probably seemed like nothing short of a miracle at first glance. The ad offered free ice cream to anyone in the area, claiming they were doing it out of Christian courtesy. 
The ice cream truck would be parked in a location that would only be disclosed to people who contacted the poster. One person did end up contacting the poster of the ad, and was told to meet up at a certain parking lot outside of Kings Park. The boy and his brother who answered the ad, who said they arrived partially just to see if it was legit or not, did find the ice cream truck in the parking lot. But two police cars were also parked alongside it. It turned out the ice cream truck was stolen. The refrigerators in the ice cream truck were turned off and all the ice cream was melted. Who knows what they really meant by Christian courtesy. This one wasn't disturbing in the same sense of the others on this list, it's just creepy. This was an ad posted by a 26-year-old asking for a female roommate who he would waive the rent fee for only if they were willing to create some kind of romantic relationship out of it. Being that this was a guy posting on Craigslist proud of his openness of his intentions, it's likely he may have wanted more than just a relationship, possibly some more immediate services. There's a lot of these kinds of posts offering free housing for young women for relationships or open minds in return. Oh, God. In July of 2015, the FBI arrested 39-year-old Nathan Bryan for allegedly trying to solicit children for sex by advertising his babysitting services on Craigslist. Federal investigators suspected that Bryan was using the ads to gain access to kids, though this wasn't enough to prove that he was guilty of anything. So the FBI posed as a father who was offering their child for sex on Craigslist. That's when they were contacted by Brian, warranting his arrest. This was one of Brian's many Craigslist postings where he advertised his babysitting services. It may not seem too bad on its own, but knowing who was behind this listing is what makes it truly horrifying, and that any other listing like this one could have been created by someone with completely masked intentions. This is Richard Beasley, a man who was sentenced to death for the murder of three men who responded to an ad he placed on Craigslist for a non-existent job. He was also convicted of the attempted murder of Scott Davis, a man who answered the Craigslist ad, who was then shot in the arm while escaping from Beasley. This is the only screenshot that could be found from the specific ad that he posted. The ad said, Wanted, Caretaker for Farm. Simply watch over a 700-acre patch of hilly farmland and feed some cows. You get $300 a week and a nice two-bedroom trailer. Someone older and single preferred, but will consider all. Relocation is a must. You must have a clean record and must be trustworthy. This is a permanent position. The farm is used mainly as a hunting preserve, is overrun with game, has a stocked three-acre pond, but some beef cattle will be kept. Nearest neighbor is a mile away. The place is secluded and beautiful. It will be a real getaway for the right person. Job of a lifetime. If you are ready to relocate, please contact ASAP. Position will not stay open. Three out of the four men who answered this ad were shot dead by Richard. Oh my gosh. This is another misconnections post seeking another unknowing individual. This one is much more disturbing, however, as the poster, or stalker rather, has the young girl's address. He even posted a picture of the 14-year-old girl's house. Oh, God. In the post, he wrote, Dear Sarah, you don't know me yet, but I've been watching you these past two weeks. You are a beautiful girl who needs to be taught certain things, and I could teach you those things. I could give you all the money you could want, and much more. I can promise you nothing but an amazing life if you choose to run away with me. The rest is just both his and her personal info. Now this ad was screenshotted by a few people before it was flagged enough times to be removed. I was never able to find more details, such as if the family was made aware of this, or if the poster was found, or even if it was just some kind of prank. Successful entrepreneurs know, without the right tools, you can't grow fast. That's why I created NetSuite. This ad was posted on June 10th, 2014, under the free stuff section. It advertised a free couch in good condition that would be put out on the curb around 10 p.m. Oh my gosh. In a normal neighborhood, this would seem like a lucky find. Oh yeah. However, this ad was posted in one of the worst areas in Detroit, and one of the most dangerous times to be wandering the streets. Not to mention that anyone living in the area that oh, this wow. ad was posted in would not be looking to give a couch away, rather looking to make any penny possible off of it. Oh wow. This was a screenshot taken of the ad by someone oh, wow. who came across it. There's no way of knowing if someone actually fell victim to this, but this ad just had too many red flags about it. Most likely a group of people waiting for a naive victim to rob or harm. 
like the bed frame listing mentioned earlier in this video. Yep. Creeps. This Craigslist post was an alleged confession of a murderer who was gloating about his first killing to the people of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Huh? It said, I wanted to thank Tulsa for letting me have my first kill. It all started here, so I was thinking it should also be my first. I was nervous as hell, but I will get over it. It was a stranger on stranger kill, so the police will have a difficult time. It will not be my last though. Thinking about going to Oklahoma City for the next. Oh my gosh. This wasn't the only ad of its kind to pop up. In fact, there was a second one that I could not find a screenshot for, which apparently showed a picture of a victim's body and the poster gloating over his second killing. This one took place in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and while it didn't mention a link to the first post, it seemed like too much of a coincidence. This is a rather strange ad by a young man looking for a roommate, when visitors to the ad would be greeted by this picture, which looks like something taken from a horror movie. They likely would not take this ad very seriously and would never dream of taking this guy up on his offer. Now if that intro picture isn't enough to creep someone out, some of the rules and aggressive writing underneath should do it. Some ground rules. If I ring the bell in the kitchen, it means you have to go to bed no matter what time it is. I do not like people staying up late. You may have a friend over, but if they speak too much, they must leave. I like peace and quiet. No Indian visitors. Never touch the shower curtains. If it's closed, you come and get me and I pull it back so you can shower. There's two other pictures, one of a dimly lit room and one with a garbage bag over a window. If this ad was legit, let's hope this guy never found a roommate. Huh? This last ad was very open about its poster's intentions, and it's titled Cannibal Looking for Willing Victim. This ad included very graphic, blurred images that would give you a good idea of what exactly was going on to the victims. The ad said I'm going to be very open about my intentions. Oh, shit. I am a cannibal and I'm looking for a willing victim. He even uses the word victim. Uh -huh. If it has been your dream to donate your body as food, please contact me as soon as possible. I will not be torturing you or providing you with a slow death. Think what? of this as sharing your generosity with somebody else. People are just crazy out there. You gotta be careful. Even on Craigslist. And that was the 13 creepiest Craigslist ads. So, hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'm out.